So how do I know that uh, the bigs uh, will generally not want to be around assholes, if you will? Well, I, I used to be one of those, and I had that mentality that they were apes or animals early on because I didn't know any better, and I listened to everybody else. And they treated me the same way. They threatened me, you know, well, dropped trees, you know, came in from three different sides to intimidate me. They were generally not nice, growled at me. And uh, I could have said the same thing and stopped right there. But um, it was later when I humbled myself that they actually began to show me gradually who they were. But originally they were just, I was just another asshole out there. And um, that's what I tell people. Now, there are, there are accounts, I've heard of accounts, where a guy was attacked in a truck. He, you know, pulled off the road. His truck was broken down. He had a big attack, his truck. And uh, what was that all about? Well, the fact of the matter is that guy used to be military. Imagine that. And they could read your mind, and they know what, what's in your mind and who you are. And obviously military is not high on their list. Why? Because they're being uh, incited by military every day in different areas. So naturally, <laughs> if they come across a guy and they know he's military, they're going to be aggressive towards him. He may be the nicest guy, but he's military. And he has a natural aggression factor. And, and I could go on and on and on. I mean, you know, it just depends on every individual. When you could read a person's mind and you know what they're thinking, if I come across somebody, could be just a normal guy, but he has in his mind, uh, that's just another spick or whatever, you know, something derogatory towards me, or he fits that group of people that may not be so nice towards my kind, I may not be nice towards that person. Um, another example, if, if I'm trying to just enjoy my home, my property, I might have acres, and I keep having these people trespass on my property, my area, and I can't let my kids just be because I have to worry about this guy shooting a gun on my property or, or whatever it might be, hunting the animals that I, I kill for my food, my family's food. I may not be so nice. So when you start to put things into perspective that these are people, and there's all kinds of different reasons why they could be aggressive. Maybe, maybe I had a brother that was shot by a human being, um, yellow, black, green, or whatever. He doesn't have to be a color. But at that point, my brother got killed by that individual or wounded. From then on, I'm not real high on human beings. I don't care who they are. I just... Human beings are a pain in the ass, or they shit all over my property, they make mess, they throw trash, uh, you know, all over my area, and they're just generally disrespectful is what I'm encountering. I'm not going to be high on human beings. So that, my friends, is what happens out there. Could there be some psychotic Bigfoot? Sure. But then again, I could say the same thing about human beings. I could pick out one or two scenarios. I, I watch it on TV all day long. They put psycho people on TV all day long that killed this person or that person or the other person. And, um, and I, could, I could say human beings in general are evil. And uh, they shouldn't even be tolerated. I could generalize. So again, you know, people who... who uh, First of all, make the mistake of viewing these beings as, as animals, make a big mistake. But when they view them as people, you have to understand they could have a million reasons to like you or not like you. Generally, I find that they're pretty peaceful and, and uh, tolerate me and, and actually, you know, interact and so forth. But then I hear others that say, the opposite, that those are the others, those others are the ones that go into the woods that have a gun and say, if he comes near me, I'm going to shoot his ass. Well, again, they're in your mind. They're not going to tolerate that, and they're not going to want to be around you. I brought people in my area that had a weird vibe. I, I even picked up on that, and the bigs did nothing in the area. They didn't even, no activity, no nothing. They didn't want anything to do with that guy. So... 
those are the things you have to consider. And most uh, people who do Bigfoot research, a lot of people, um, don't understand that that's what they're dealing with. That they're actually dealing with a being that is a much higher level of intelligence than them. When you consider that most of the time you're encountering their juveniles who run circles around you and out smart you with all your electronics and everything else you try to lay on them. Um, they're so much more highly intelligent and capable than you are. So, putting things in, in a perspective. So yes, I used to be one of the assholes that I mentioned in my other video. Uh, but I realized later that I was an asshole. And uh, when I was finally humbled, I couldn't even walk and stuff, and I, my, my, I guess my state was very humbled. I was just down on life in general. It was a tough time. Um, that was when things finally broke through for me, um, as opposed to when I was arrogant, thinking I was above them, thinking they were an animal. They didn't really like me. I, I probably wasn't a very good person you know, for them to even want to engage or be around. So, thanks for watching.